got going on here? Hey, Dalton. Um, just a standard barrel threading for the Silencer Coast Sparrow. Although, Silencer Coast Sparrows aren't really that standard. There's a couple different things we do to the thread pattern that you don't typically have to do with, um, uh, or are required to do on, um, on standard half by 28 thread pitches. So, this is um, Silencer Coast plan uh, drawing for the um, Sparrow thread pattern. Notice that it's a uh, it's a recess relief pattern here, unlike a standard thread pitch that just goes to a straight contour. Um, typically, what, the way most barrels are cut for half by 28 for the Sparrow is sort of like this M16 or AR15 thread pitch, where it's just a straight you know, 60 length thread pitch. Silencer Co. provides a spacer um, with the Sparrow to offset the length so that you end up with about a 40 length of pitch um, for the threads to prevent the threads from tearing up the o-ring inside the, th the inner face of the Sparrow baffle uh, core. Um, however, by using a 40, the overall length doesn't go far enough to actually seal up with the o-ring, so you lose the benefit of the o-ring. So Silencer Coast thread pattern is, in their drawing, is to provide two relief areas. Um, your standard relief before the threads to the shoulder, then the actual threads themselves, then a cut down with a minor relief uh, to give you the exact face position where that's going to meet up exactly uh, to the o-ring so everything is sealed up then it optimizes the um, uh, decibel reduction of the silencer and also prevents the o-ring from deteriorating uh, faster over time. So if we install this amount of core on this barrel, if you come to my right shoulder, I'm going to zoom in there in the center line you'll see how that perfectly meets flush against the o-ring. And then further, we're tied in perfectly to the shoulder. Now, if we do the same thing with the 40 length baffle, using the spacer, you end up with a gap. Of about 10 to 12, 10 to 15 thousandths for the O-ring. That, of course, doesn't seal up, and you get additional um, uh, burnout from the powder that will eat into the uh, O-ring. Rather, when it's recessed perfectly, it's all sealed up nice and tight, and it's going to last longer and be a little quieter. And that's it.